I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, Valgrind. Valgrind, which is a memory checker. Just a quick how-to video, basically. Uh, I'm going to preempt with a few quick things of how to kind of get it running on Ubuntu in general. Uh, I am using Zorin OS, which is a Debian distribution. That's kind of what these instructions are geared to, anything with, with Debian. I did have to install Valgrind sudo apt get install valgrind the current release is 3.14 so if we run valgrind do version I'll see I'm on 3.11 which apparently has a bug with random device so I'm running into that but uh, before that just to be able to even run it you've got to do a few things so you have to you have to compile with debug dash g so I had to add this to my make file or I decided to add it rather because with my normal C flags I'm, I don't have it debugging so if I run debug or you know make debug it appends this dash G to my C flags which is dash G on everything I'm building that way I can run Valgrind because you, you can only run this PIM check with dash G on there so that's the first thing you gotta do is make sure you have those flags and this is a simple way to do it this is further explained and let me see here. Ah, here we go. Pretty. This explains it pretty well, but there's more details. So someone asked the question. All right, how do I how do I do this? The answer is you basically make a command that has it appending it. So there you go. If that's confusing. Check the manual. Use look at these target specific variables and it will explain it further but basically you can just do something like this uh, if you use I use plus equals instead of equals that way it appends uh, yeah like it says here all right so last thing so I go to my program it's under so there it is all right let's so take a look so um, I'm gonna do a make clean and then I'm gonna make debug and it's gonna build everything with dash G Okay, so we'll do valgrind. You got to do this on your executable. My executable name is, I think, dmpower. So I'll do valgrind um, dash dash leak check equals yes. Uh, we can do dash v for verbose. I guess I'll do that. And oh, you can always do dash dash help real quick if you if you want to know more about what these do. So just FYI. Okay, and here's what we get. Now, I have a bit of a problem on my program. Sorry. And okay, so tells me the options it pulled in. This is all the verbose stuff. This is just a lot of. Might be handy, but what you're usually mainly looking for is this leak summary. Here it looks pretty good but it's not as good as it seems because I have this unrecognized instruction and it, it gives it a signal for it just it kills the program so while it didn't show any leaks it is also killing the program before it really does anything and that's because of this random device supposedly this is fixed in later versions of Valgrind if you're not using random device at all you might not have this problem at all well, anyway, that's how you run Valgrind, and that's how you how you do it on your program. You can try with these options, too, if you want more info. But as long as it succeeds and doesn't have this illegal opcode, it'll tell you where your memory leaks are, how many you have. So, all right, good luck. Hopefully you can fix up your memory leaks with Valgrind. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like if it helped you. Subscribe to this channel for more random coding shenanigans and tutorials. And have a good day and keep coding.